Hello everyone, welcome to this lecture on early framework for computerized decision support system. Uh, early framework involves a way of creating a structured system uh, to assist individuals or uh, decision makers in an organization. And uh, while uh, creating a system, uh, they involve data scientists and uh, machine learning engineers and other uh, um, uh, knowledge workers, knowledge be knowledge exposed to um, create a system, and uh, this follows a uh, iterative approach. And uh, there are uh, several key components in this early framework. Uh, first is uh, defining a problem. Uh, so the decision problem has to be clearly defined to address the issue, and uh, the engineer should identify the key objectives and uh, criteria. Uh, to be followed and uh, while collecting the data uh, they should analyze uh, uh, different types of data necessary for uh, decision making and uh, uh, data can be collected from uh, either internal source or external source and also uh, they may think of uh, integrating data from uh, other libraries or external components or from other branch uh, databases or uh, data uh, source. <coughs> now another important aspect is uh, collecting and integrating data. Engineers should ensure that uh, the data is consistent and uh, it satisfies the quality requirement. It should be relevant to the system that you build. And uh, also they should continuously update and uh, maintain the data integrity that is also another important concern the next component is uh, uh, so in this diagram you can see first we have a problem definition then uh, um, as part of this uh, engineers also consider various factors uh, from the environment and uh, also they study some reports uh, conduct feasibility study to check whether it is uh, feasible to implement <coughs> design and implement a system and also they, uh, they also uh, pass several queries to the customer interacting with the customers to get their requirement and then they compare with the existing work also uh, to analyze uh, uh, the limitations in the existing problem existing work and then we have a design phase where uh, uh, we have uh, um, engineers to create a design and uh, also they find uh, look for alternate uh, uh, approaches or uh, alternate design uh, artifacts then in the next stage they compare and select the best one best design out of uh, available designs then it goes for implementation and delivering the system and uh, installing the system in the uh, customer base uh, then conducting the testing and refining the system all these things will come in this phase here also they have showed that they should maintain the system properly collecting the report from the customer so we'll discuss uh, all these components in details so, so the first is uh, knowledge base um, this phase uh, uh, they involve uh, knowledge engineers knowledge expert to generate necessary uh, facts uh, rules and uh, then they would list their experience expertise uh, to develop a knowledge base and uh, also some decision rules criteria to be satisfied in this uh, phase and uh, the knowledge base has to be updated as I mean, uh, it is recovered when it, it comes up with a new scenario and all so it has to deal with a new problem so knowledge base has to be updated regularly or periodically and then we have decision models kind of developing a decision model uh, in this phase, uh, there is a mapping between input data to output uh, uh, data and uh, output variable. Uh, so, the input may be data or some criteria, and the output may be decisions or recommendations. Uh, for example, to uh, monitor the patient, to uh, help the patient uh, take the medicine uh, properly, so the system may uh, take the uh, input and uh, um, it can analyze uh, the condition current, uh, current uh, situation of uh, current uh, uh, status of the patient and accordingly it can 
uh, recommend medicine to the patient. Also, it can help the doctors to make decision uh, so that the doctor can uh, effectively uh, prescribe and uh, uh, give proper treatment to the patient. And uh, also, this uh, this stage uh, involves machine learning algorithm like a decision tree approach or uh, KNN of Stainer Sniper algorithm or biasing learning or some other machine learning algorithm uh, to uh, explore uh, data and uh, generate the output and uh, as part of this uh, the system has to be validated so they may use validation data to ensure that the system works well and when in critical situations when you give new data under so the testing accuracy may degrade so validation has to be done uh, refining the models based on historical data and feedback of the customer and Designing a user interface is uh, uh, one of the important concerns. So, you should, the engineer should design the user interface uh, properly so that uh, uh, it will make the user feel good and they can easily use the system. So, it should be easy to use and user friendly interface. And uh, whenever a user wants to give some input or uh, give their preference, there must be an option for that. There must be options for that. Uh, the system should be able to modify uh, their uh, preferences, uh, preferences uh, according to their uh, input and uh, it should generate uh, necessary recommendations. And uh, the next is uh, incorporating new scenarios and uh, building simulation models. This is also a very important part of it. And here, uh, engineers prepare various scenarios and test how it works and how the system responds to various scenarios. And simulation model uh, follows uh, uh, what is to be implemented and uh, it guides the users to explore uh, a lot in the uh, decision making problem. And uh, a user can, uh, my engineers can come up with a different uh, approach and they can have simulation model to test how it works. Uh, so for alternative systems maybe they can uh, get better outcome so that can be adapted for implementation uh, it enables what if analysis when certain things happens what has to be satisfied and uh, how to assess the impact of various factors uh, to give out accurate uh, outcomes for the decision problem so it uh, enables all this analysis <coughs> Also, integrating with the existing system uh, can be part of this uh, early framework uh, because uh, uh, there may be some relevant system or tools within an organization which is uh, ready to use and free of bugs. So those systems, if it is compatible, engineer can think of integrating the system uh, using API or other database connectors or some tools uh, to. Uh, link the decision support system with other uh, analytical tools database. and uh, the system also has uh, security uh, feature and uh, ensuring privacy uh, to protect sensitive data and the user privacy um, the, it complies with uh, relevant uh, regulations and standards for data protection and confidentiality so uh, once the system is built uh, and delivered uh, to the um, customer place then necessary training to be given because there may be some unskilled workers on the client side they should give proper training to uh, use the um, addition support system they should be given necessary support as and when it is required collecting the feedback from the customer they should refine the system and also they should address user queries issues uh, when new uh, situation arises, then they should collect the requirement for that. They should update the system and try to meet the customers. So for that, necessary training and support should be uh, given to the engineers and to the unskilled users. Then uh, at the last stage, uh, monitoring the performance of the system is uh, very, very, very important because the system should uh, provide 
proper response as well as uh, it should be uh, easy to use and uh, regularly uh, you should collect the data feedback from the customer and you should evaluate the accuracy and effectiveness of uh, the system. Yes, the decision outcome should, should be uh, accurate and uh, uh, yeah, the system should give timely response. So for that, uh, uh, the engineers should collect the feedback to identify areas for improvement and the evaluation should be part of it. They should evaluate uh, the system uh, to satisfy the user requirements. So that's all. Uh, in this early framework, we have all these uh, important components.